First anniversary, right? Second. Oh my Lord Jesus. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, for I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <coughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you mortal humanity is sure to fail, mm -hmm. may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. <clears throat> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. <coughs> Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks to the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullet, 
no goats out of your fold. To the, the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the, the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore do not observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers and sisters. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. As we uh, continue the Lenten journey, we see in the reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah that the Isaiah is uh, really giving and putting forth to the Israelite people that they need to listen to the instruction of God because what could happen to them is what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. But he says to them, you need to put away your misdeeds, you need to stop doing evil, you need to learn good, you need to make justice reign, you need to redress the wrong and the wrong and so forth. I think as we see in the Old Testament times, the Israelite people many times wandered away from God, and they always needed either a leader or a prophet to come into their lives to try to bring them back. At times they lived what God commanded, at times they denied what God commanded. We see that same trend kind of taken over in Jesus' time and in this passage we have today. Jesus recognizes the scribes and the Pharisees, and he tells his disciples, uh, do not be like them. And the reason for it is that they know the law. They know how to teach the law, namely the commandments, but they don't live them. There's no integrity. Jesus comes on the scene, and he models for us that what he preaches, he practices, and what he practices, he preaches meaning that there's an integrity in words and in actions. And he's calling us during this Lenten season to look at that integrity of our words and actions. You know, we can say maybe that we fast or we give alms or we pray more during Lent. Do we just say it or do we do it? And we don't do it for others to see or we don't do it for our own glorification but for the good of one another and for the glory of God. In the end, that integrity is what we are going to be judged on. Jesus models it very clearly for us. 
And we hear in the commandments that we are to love God with all our heart, our mind, and our soul, our whole being, which simply says that what we do has to all go together. Let us pray today that we are going to be servants. We are going to be then great in God's eyes because we not only taught or what we practice, but we practice what we taught. We have an integrity of heart, mind, body, and spirit in living the gospel. May this Lent give us the time to reflect on that integrity and to bring about in our own lives the integrity Jesus puts forth today to preach and practice the same words. Let us pray. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to lead and inspire him as he serves as Vicar of Christ on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may, Lord, may the Lord give them the compassion and strength to fight for human dignity and for laws that promote human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the chronically ill, may the healing compassion of Christ be made present for them through their families, caregivers, and all who support them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, during this Lenten season, may the Lord help us grow in understanding of his merciful love for us, and so we be transformed in his likeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the souls of the faithful departed, may God shed his mercy upon them, so they may live in everlasting joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Heavenly Father, we know that you hear our prayers and petitions. Grant them in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, 
You constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness. Never did you turn away from us, and through time and again, we have broken your covenant. You have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all, while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love in proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join with the heavenly host of angels and saints, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, have entered our holy glory, O Son and Nights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and Nights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Lord, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered together into one body of Christ, who heals all division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, 
until the hour when we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, that freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thou be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. <coughs> my soul shall be healed. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing songs to your name, O Most High. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. 
Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devotedness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, our angel, be with us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. And may God be with you when we humbly pray. And be thou the grace of the heavenly host. By the power of God, we ask the Lord of Satan and all the angels. Proud of the world, seeking the world of souls. Amen.